When working on machine learning, deep learning or AI projects, you're probably aware that GPU accelerated server hardware is the key to rapid training and results. However, most data sets are too large to store on GPU servers, so you'll need external storage and in turn require a fast networking connection between the two. In this video, we're looking at the way networking infrastructures for AI differ from other enterprise or data center networking deployments. In a future video, we'll then look at the specific storage requirements for AI. So do make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss it. Now, GPU utilization is key when training AI models. It makes little sense to invest in a multi-GPU server and not think about the storage hardware and network switches you'll need. The most powerful GPUs have tens of thousands of cores for parallel processing and large memory to cache significant amounts of data. You'll only train your model to completion in the shortest time though if the storage used is based on all flash NVMe SSDs and the highest network connectivity offers the highest throughput and lowest latency. This is reliant on the network switches connecting the servers and storage and also the installed network cards. Whilst network speeds of up to 50 gigabytes per second might be adequate for most workloads, deep learning and AI presents a few more challenges. Even 100 gigabits per second would be considered entry level for this kind of work, as the latest standards are now at either 4 or 800 gigabits per second. AI workflows are commonly containerized by using a software overlay that allows multiple projects to be in progress on a single server at the same time without interfering with each other. Over the last seven years, NVIDIA has developed its DGX AI appliance as the ultimate AI training platform, expanding to offer EGX and HGX reference architecture for server manufacturers, such as our very own 3XS systems. Specialist networking has also been developed alongside it, most commonly from Mellanox, whose high-end switches and network cards have become popular in HPC and AI. Mellanox initially differed from the majority of other network companies as it promoted a technology called InfiniBand, a competitor to the much more widely used Ethernet networking standard. Ethernet network cards for servers simply handle the network connection, leaving the CPU to deal with tasks like memory access. However, InfiniBand network cards introduced a concept called offloading that means the card itself could directly access system memory and therefore remove some of the load from the CPU. This improved performance and reduced latency in high performance systems, making InfiniBand a more popular choice. This offloading is known as RDMA, or Remote Direct Memory Access, and in later generations Mellanox mirrored this technology in its Ethernet products offering ROCE, which is RDMA over Converged Ethernet. This closed the gap between the two standards, making them both equally attractive for HPC and AI workloads. Perhaps unsurprisingly, these technologies being key to high-performance AI and already included in the DGX appliances. NVIDIA acquired Mellanox in 2019 and NVIDIA Networking was born. The range of Connect X network cards from NVIDIA Networking deliver best-in-class performance for AI workloads, offering speeds ranging from 100 up to 400 gigabits per second for InfiniBand and up to 800 gigabits per second for Ethernet in the latest Connect X7 generation. These cards offer huge throughput and thanks to significant offloading features and PCIe 5 technology, the lowest latency with the server. However, let's go back to containerization for a second. Software such as Docker and Kubernetes help with AI projects, reducing resource demand and boot up times, but they do pose an additional management overhead. Couple this with other applications running on the typical AI server, such as frameworks and libraries or GPU virtualization layers like Run AI Atlas, the CPU has a large amount of management to cope with, and this is where a DPU or data processing unit come in. A DPU is an evolution of the Connect X network card that not only provides the same offloading via RDMA or ROCE, but adds multiple accelerators for the likes of management, storage, encryption, RAID and deduplication, further removing more load from the CPU, reducing server latency even more. 
The latest NVIDIA Bluefield 3 DPUs offer the same Kinect X7 connectivity speeds and PCIe 5 architecture alongside these hosts of other features. There are even DPUs with GPUs embedded. Once your servers are configured with Kinect X network cards or Bluefield DPUs and your storage appliances with complementary Kinect X network cards, they need to be connected by similarly high performance switches. The NVIDIA range has a choice of Ethernet Spectrum switches or InfiniBand Quantum switches, featuring the same speeds as the server network cards. And this ensures data throughput between devices is as fast as possible. The latest Spectrum 4 Ethernet switches even allow nanosecond timing precision compared to millisecond-based data center switches. They also enable the simulation of precise space and time in the NVIDIA Omniverse platform for real-time collaboration and simulation, which is often required when disparate teams are working on demanding AI projects. Similarly, the latest generation of Quantum 2 InfiniBand switches work seamlessly with Bluefield DPUs to extend in-network computing with pre-configured and programmable compute engines, such as the third generation of NVIDIA's Sharp, delivering the best cost per node and ROI. The Spectrum and Quantum switches, Bluefield DPUs and Connect X cards are complemented by the NVIDIA Link X family of interconnects, featuring a variety of transceivers and multi-fiber push-on connectors, active copper cables and direct attached cables with 1-2 to two and 1-4 to four splitter options, ensuring the highest networking performance throughout your entire AI infrastructure. So there you have it, all of the things you need to understand and consider when looking at a networking infrastructure to support AI workloads. Don't hesitate to get in touch to discuss your AI networking needs, or you can visit our 3XS Systems website, where you can choose NVIDIA networking cards when configuring your server. Alternatively, leave your comments and questions below, and a member of the Scan AI team will get back to you. Thanks for watching.